Hello again, baseball card fans. Today I have a very special mail day, one card. It's, as you can tell from my background, it's a pre-war theme. Um, I got a couple of T206s in front of you, and you may notice in the background I have a book on the Cracker Jack set. So why do I have a Cracker Jack book with T206s? Well, I wish I had more Cracker Jack cards to show you. But I did get my very first one in, and it is of Hall of Famer Zach Wheat. Very happy to have this card. Um, I fell in love with these cards just looking online, but this card looks more amazing in, in person than it did uh, in the auction image. So this is from the 1914 set. You can see it's graded PSA 2. Um, if you're not familiar with this set, there were two editions, 1914, 1915. Other YouTubers can explain it uh, much better than I can, but essentially the 1914 edition is much rarer because they were only found in boxes of Cracker Jack and in 1915, you could send in a redemption for the whole set. So the 1915s are often found in higher grade. In fact, I think the most common grade usually is a near mint to mint, which is incredible. I'm going to, so I won this card from, it is a PWCC auction. You can see that it got their eye appeal rating of exceptional, which puts it in the top 15% in their opinion. I know people have their opinions of PWCC, um, but I cannot pass up this opportunity. And I felt pretty good about the card as far as alterations. I mean, I know all about the Slapgate scandal and everything, but I did my due diligence. And the history of this card is was it was recently purchased or won at auction in the Robert Edward Robert Edward auctions um, just last summer in July and so I know that oh and actually even furthermore Robert Edward auctions was actually the the ones to submit this card to PSA so reputable reputable auction house submitted it to PSA and it has not left its holder since. So let me go ahead and I want to put this card down for now. Let you enjoy. I mean, isn't that a sight? And this is actually um, Zach Wheat's rookie card here from the T206 set. And then I have a beautiful Nap Wrecker opposite of it. I really like this picture of. Um, some classic pre-war Brooklyn Dodger cards. So let's see what Robert Edward Auctions had to say about the card last summer. Uh, graded good to by PSA, submitted by REA. Hall of Famer Zach Wheat from the 1914 Cracker Jack number 144 series. This card is bright and crisp with a bold red background and just a slight hint of very light caramel staining, as is often the case with the 1914 series Cracker Jack cards. The card is well centered with light even wear to the corners. There is a slight red color bleed visible on Wheat's image, a desirable example of a Hall of Famer Zach Wheat from this classic set that would make an outstanding addition to any 1914 Cracker Jack Hall of Fame or pre-war card collection. Agree 100%. So they did notice a red color bleed on his image. Um, you can see it all throughout his chest here, but I can tell you that it does not detract from the eye appeal whatsoever. Um, you might not even notice it if you weren't really looking closely or paying attention to it. They also said it has a bold red background, a grease, slight hint of very light caramel staining. Um, yeah, I would agree. It it does have um, 
even toning all around with light patches of, of staining, which can be particularly seen on the back, here, here, and here, some, some very common stains. Light even wear to the corners. You can see for yourself. So, like I mentioned, I got this from uh, PWCC. This is what they had to say about the card. Tons of eye appeal for the assigned grade, which is why they gave it the exceptional um, designation. The offered wheat is centered with a stunning front surface which boasts bright color and precise clarity, free of any visible wrinkles with well-preserved corners to boot. Typical product toning on the reverse is all that prevents a higher grade. So in their words and in mine, an exceptional copy. Um, let's talk about the rarity of this card. So I have uh, I have my laptop up here. Okay, so there are 39 copies total graded by PSA, only 39. Um, ten of them have been graded a two, which is actually the most common grade. And then it, it just goes down from there. Um, seven threes, four fours, and then in the five, six, and seven designations, there are only two copies each. So extremely rare, which is why when one comes up, it's hard to say no, especially um, with such great eye appeal. And if I were to get it into a higher grade, I mean, I might have been able to get a three maybe for the same price, but who knows if it would have looked as good. A little bit about, about Zach Wheat. Um, he played 19 seasons from 1909 to 1927. Again, rookie card, 1909-2006. All but one of those years, his final season, 27, um, were with Brooklyn. He finished his career with 2,884 hits, um, 2,804 of which were with Brooklyn, which is still a franchise record for the Dodgers. Um, I believe he also holds the franchise record for doubles at 464 and he holds a couple other franchise records. I mean, he is all over the the Dodgers um, all-time list. Like I mentioned, Hall of Famer Zach Wheat 1914 Cracker Jack Very rare, very beautiful. Thanks for watching.